it's changed, but suspension is a whole lot different. Um, the actual tub itself yeah. that the driver sits in is a lot bigger. Oh. So now everything's all on top, which okay. for the mechanics is, is a, a lot easier to work on. In some aerodynamic pieces uh, change the driving style a little bit. It can be quite sensitive in pitch. Oh. Um, you know, when, when you maybe get the car sideways and your it, it, it will spin really quickly because it loses downforce quickly. You can, you know, there are aerodynamic pieces that kind of make that stuff more consistent. The actual uh, body kits, it's just going to be pure efficiency. You know, you're just trying to find the most amount of downforce for the least amount of drag. On a, on a road and street course, it'll be probably quite a bit quicker. But when you get a new car, you know, once you've had the old car for so long, you basically know, you know, where your marks are, how late you can brake, you know, how much speed you need to carry through. But once you get a new car, you know, you kind of have to keep pushing it to see how far, how deep you can go, how much speed you can run through the corner. But, but it has all this built in now. So you never actually used to have foam under your, under your bar. We went from you know, three and a half litre normally aspirated engines, V8s, right. now to V6. I think they're 2.4s or 2.5 litres, so it's a much smaller engine. Um, but with turbo chargers, you can have two turbos or a single turbo. So you know, it's a different bit of a mix out there. So it'll be interesting to see. It's so hard to tell in pre-season testing of how it actually is working out. So the fuel cell is right between you and the engine. So no, you don't feel any of that. You get a little bit of heat like back through in here, um, but it's never too bad. You know, the air conditioning is pretty good at 200 miles an hour.